Hello, boys and girls. I'm Miss Swan from Pre-K-1, and today we are going to read the story, The Little Red Hen Makes a Pizza. And the author who wrote the book, or the person who wrote the story, is Philemon Sturgis. Now, if we take a look at the cover of our book, I notice that the little red hen must be making a pizza. And I bet she could use some help. But it looks like her friends are too busy playing outside. I wonder if they decide to help her. Hmm, let's read and find out. The little red hen had eaten the last slice of her tasty loaf of bread. She sipped a cup of chickweed tea and taken her nap. Now she was hungry again. So she scratched through her cupboard and spied a can of tomato soup. And boys and girls, if you spy a can of tomato soup, that means she saw it really quickly. Hmm. Why don't I make a lovely little pizza, she said to herself. And if something is lovely, boys and girls, that means it's nice looking or beautiful. So it sounds like the little red hen wants to make a very nice or beautiful pizza. She rummaged through her pan drawer. Boys and girls, can you say that word rummaged? Good job. Now, if you're rummaging through something like the little red hen, you're looking through and pushing things aside, trying to find something in your drawer or somewhere else. Can you guys make it look like you're rummaging through something, like you're rummaging through your drawer, pushing things to the side, trying to find something? I wonder what the little red hen is looking for. Let's keep reading. There were bread pans, cake pans, muffin pans, frying pans, all kinds of pans. But not one single pan was large and round and flat. Cluck, she said. I need a pan. Hmm, sounds like the little red hen has a problem. She needs a pizza pan, but she doesn't have one in her kitchen. I wonder how she can solve this problem. Oh, it looks like there's some friends outside who might be able to help the little red hen. She stuck her head out the window. Good morning, she called. Does anybody have a pizza pan? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Hmm. Since the little red hen doesn't have the pan she needs, she asked to borrow one from her friends. Borrow means to use something, but not keep it. But it sounds like none of her friends are able to help her here. I wonder what the little red hen will do next. Very well, then. I'll fetch one myself. Boys and girls, the little red hen said she would fetch one herself. That means she is going to get her own pizza pan. So she went to the hardware store. She bought a pizza pan, a large mixing bowl, a pizza slicer, and some other stuff. When she got home, she opened the cupboard. She saw beans and rice sugar and spices, jars of jam, and jars of honey, and even pickled eggplant, but no flour. Cluck, she said. I need flour. Oh no, the little red hen just went to the store, and now she realizes that she doesn't have flour, and she needs that to make her pizza. What will she do now? Oh, it looks like she can ask her friends again. Maybe they could help her out this time because that's what friends do. Friends help each other. Let's see what happens. She stuck her head out the window. Hello, she said. Who'll run to the store and get me some flour? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Oh no, boys and girls, it looks like the little red hen's friends still are not able to help her. Ugh, that means the little red hen is going to have to go to the store again. Very well then, I'll fetch some myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the supermarket. She bought some flour, some salt, some oil, and some other stuff. I wonder if she has everything she needs to make her pizza. When she got home, she opened up the fridge. Cluck, she said. There's cream cheese, blue cheese, string cheese, and Swiss cheese. But no mozzarella. 
And boys and girls, mozzarella is the type of cheese that you put on pizza. Oh no, what is she going to do? So, she stuck her head out the window. Excuse me, she said. Who will go to the store and buy me some mozzarella? Look, Little Red Hen is asking her friends again. She even has the money that they can use to buy the mozzarella cheese. Hmm, I wonder what her friends are going to say this time. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Very well then, I'll fetch some myself, said the Little Red Hen. So the Little Red Hen went to the delicatessen. Boys and girls, a delicatessen is a long word, so sometimes we shorten that word and just say deli. And when we go to a grocery store like Publix or Kroger, you could go to the deli section where you buy meat and cheeses. Well, the Little Red Hen bought some mozzarella, pepperoni, and olives, some mushrooms, onions, and garlic, a can of eight small anchovies, which is a type of fish, and some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant. It sounds like the little red hen is getting all the things that she wants to put on top of her pizza, and we call that toppings. When she got home, the little red hen put on her apron and stuck her head out the window. Good afternoon, she said. Who will help me make some pizza dough? Oh, I know the little red hen is thinking, now that I've done all of this work of getting all these ingredients together, I know my friends will help me make the pizza for sure. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well then, I'll make it myself, said the little red hen. Boys and girls, you know, I'm thinking that the little red hen is a very good friend because she continues to be kind to her friends even though they are not being very helpful. Also, she does not complain or whine about having to do all the work by herself. She's not saying, why won't you help me? You guys aren't being fair. She's not complaining or whining. She's just saying, very well then, I'll do it myself. So she put the flour and some other stuff into her mixing bowl and stirred and mixed, and mixed, and kneaded, and kneaded, and pounded, until she had a big ball of pizza dough. After the dough rose, the little red hen rolled it flat, and folded it, and rolled it again, and spun it around her head several times. When the dough was just right, she tossed it way up in the air one last time for good luck, and put it in her pizza pan. Boys and girls, go ahead and throw up your pizza dough into the air. Let it twist around and catch it. Perfect. And now let's put it on the pizza pan. Then she stuck her head out the window. Excuse me, she said. Who will help me make the toppings? Boys and girls, what do you think her friends are going to say? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. I wonder why they won't help. Friends, boys and girls, should be helpful to each other. And these friends appear to always be busy or having fun. Hmm, look back at some of these other illustrations. I see right here, her friends are eating ice cream, they're listening to music, they're playing ball, and now they're playing in the water. They are just thinking about having fun and not being a helpful friend. Very well then, I'll make it myself, said the little red hen. Again, the little red hen acts like a good friend. She's not complaining, she's not whining. She continues to be kind to her friends, even though they are choosing not to be helpful. Wow, the little red hen is such a great friend. So she chopped and grated and grated and sliced. Next, she opened her can of tomato sauce and spread it all over the pizza dough. Let me see you guys spread your tomato sauce all over the pizza dough. Good job. On top of that, she put some grated mozzarella, and if it's grated, boys and girls, that means it's shredded or sliced into really small pieces. She put some sliced pepperoni, some chopped olives, 
some mushrooms, some onions and garlic, eight small anchovies, and some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant. The little red hen looked at her pizza. Oh, she must be very proud. It looked just right. She put it in the oven and sat down to sip a cup of chickweed tea. Pretty soon, a delicious smell drifted from the oven. It filled the room and floated out the window. Oh, everyone take a deep breath in. Do you guys smell it too? And look, I see in the illustration, the smell or the aroma is drifting outside and look, the little red hen's friends are even noticing that delicious smell. My lovely pizza must be ready, she thought. It was lovely, but it was not little. Oh my goodness, boys and girls, look at this pizza. The little red hen looks very surprised because she did not expect it to be so large or big. She must be thinking, Oh my, I did not expect the pizza to turn out so large. I have enough hmm, to maybe share with my friends because I certainly cannot eat this all by myself. So she stuck her head out the window. Good evening, she said. Would anybody like some pizza? Wow, the little red hen, after all of these times of asking her friends if they would help her, and they continued to say no. She's still asking if they would like some pizza. Hmm, I wonder what their response or answer will be this time. Can you guess what the duck said? Can you guess what the dog said? Can you guess what the cat said? They all said, yes, of course. But the cat scraped most of the toppings off of his share. He must not have liked those pizza toppings on the pizza that the little red hen had made. When the pizza was all gone, the little red hen made herself another cup of chickweed tea. Then she asked, who will help me do the dishes? Now, can you guess what the duck, the dog, and the cat each said? Hmm, I wonder, boys and girls. Now, the little red hen asked to help make the pizza, get all of the ingredients for the pizza, and her friends had said no, but they did say yes when she was willing to share the pizza with them. I wonder if they're going to help her with the dishes as well. They each said, I will. I will. I will. Oh, boys and girls, I think that the little red hen's friends realized what a good friend the little red hen has been all this time so they decided that it would be best to help her clean those dishes and now she could relax after working so hard to make that lovely pizza and they did oh look they helped the little red hen they're putting the dishes away and now it looks like the little red hen is listening to her music and relaxing and enjoying the company of her friends now that we've read the story, The Little Red Hen Makes a Pizza, I'm wondering why did the Little Red Hen's friends decide to help her in the end? There were several times where Little Red Hen asked her friends for help and they said that they couldn't help her. So why, boys and girls, did the friends decide to help the Little Red Hen at the end? I would love for you guys to discuss this with your classmates and your teacher. Bye-bye.